So in this Team One board, we used a template. And in that template, it automatically created sections for us. And really these sections were created just using shapes. So let's explore what shapes do and how we can use that to help us organize our team board. So let's zoom in here a little bit, kind of get a blank area. And we're gonna come over here to the left to our shape tool. Now, shapes are very basic. You can do things like circles, there's callouts and arrows and rectangles and stuff. You'll also notice that there's this option for connectors. So you can build things like flow charts. We're gonna come back here to connectors in just a second. So we're just gonna start with a simple rectangle. Uh, what you do is you click and it will place the shape. So you select your shape, click, it will place it. And then you can drag the corners or the sides to make this bigger. Now, be careful with these little blue dots on the side. That is not how you uh, drag your shape to make it uh, wider or more narrow. You actually move the mouse until you get the directional arrow going back and forth and then that's going to let you click and drag to rearrange it. Now up at the top, you'll have your settings menu for that shape. So for example, we can change the background color of our shape. We can change the line thickness of the border. Uh, we can lock it, and this is especially important if you're doing something with organization, like if this box is going to hold sticky notes or other objects, we might wanna lock it so people don't accidentally move it. Another thing that's important to remember in our software is that anytime you add a new object, say like a text box, it's going to put it on the very top layer, so above everything else. So if I already had some sticky notes or other objects in my team board, this new rectangle would actually cover those up and be on top of it. And so if I wanted to place things on top of this, a really thing important to remember is to go and choose the send to back option. So now it's on the bottom of everything. So anything you place on top will go there. Uh, now I can move this around if I wanna replace it or put it somewhere else. I also have the ability to rotate it. So there's a rotate button on the bottom left corner of the shape. Uh, and then I can also delete it by going to the dots and clicking delete. Now shapes, kind of like other objects, have the ability to type inside of them. So you'll notice if I double click it, I get a cursor and then I could uh, type inside of this particular object. Anytime you're dragging objects around using the select tool, you'll notice that you'll get these little guidelines. This just helps you align different objects with one another. Now let's come back to these connectors or ways that we can build flow charts or connect thoughts and ideas together. So you'll see here that even though uh, in our uh, board here that we have different columns for like in progress and done, uh, that we have a connector that's been placed showing that even though this task is done, there's maybe something connected to uh, something that's in progress. So those people should probably connect or figure out what's going on. The way that we do this is you actually can come into an object. It can be a sticky note, it can be a shape. And I talked to you about those little blue dots earlier. So if I take those blue dots and click and drag, you'll see that I actually get a connector line and I can drag and connect it to any other shape that I want to. So we can see Blake's over here already doing some of these connectors. So we click and drag and when we release, that connector gets connected from that one object to the next. And if we move those objects, those connectors will stay there, uh, allowing us to more easily build out flow, connecting ideas and thoughts and progressions, as well as again, like flow charts. So shapes are great for organizing, just to understand how they layer and how you can manipulate them. And then connectors are a great way for connecting thoughts and ideas.